Right on cue. Please get no rain. If you lot are not allowed in the house, when you look like our mate Alex here, look. I've been drinking no alcohol for the last four and a half years. Small man, big dreams. I'm leaving feeling a little bit frustrated. I keep getting asked the same question, and that's what the benefits between being limited and being a sole trader. from being on site last did drum roll three and a half hours uh, we had one of the brick lads had to get off because little one little was ill um, so Christian phoned me up and was like Lee we're short handed uh, so I dived out to site straight away and, and, and started laying again this morning it looks absolutely terrible weather wise and the boys over in Fitch Amsterdam are laying stones um, so I've rang them and said come over to Sonnen and we're going to attack this block work and get all that up um, today is Tuesday, the video dropped this morning, hope you all enjoyed it, make sure you comment as well to let me know what you, content you don't want to see, um, and subscribe and all that stuff, we're going to tear into this, and Thursday, we're going to see the boat. Right on cue! This weather ain't no good out, is it? <laughs> Alex! Say hello Alex! How's it going? <laughs> Alex is the new old carrier. Very impressed. So far, so good. Oh, sorry, shovel look. <laughs> We're scared no rain. We've been consistent since about half seven this morning. If you lot are not allowed in the house, but you look like our mate Alex here, look. The other day I got back, she said to me, get your clothes off. <laughs> the other day, still recording? Yeah. The other day I got back, she said, you ain't coming in like that. I said, this is my house, I live here. She said, you ain't coming in. Take your clothes off in the porch. I've got a glass porch, mate. Lucky neighbours. Right, come here, it's five to four. All the cavity works up. Oh, Steve running away, they don't want to be in the video. <laughs> it's five to four, it's been raining since half past seven. No, probably hardly any brick eyes in the UK are working at home, but we stuck out, didn't we, Steve? We stuck out, didn't we? Four hoodies. 90% of the cavity work's done. We're going to jump out on the brickwork. And Rob, who's on the camera, Dirty Alex over there, that sounds a bit weird, doesn't it? <laughs> uh, he bumped all these bricks out, so it's probably loaded as well. So, up, up, up. Mate, I've got to be one of the only people in the world who can work in the rain for six hours. And get sunburned. What's all that about? If you're wondering why we ain't got a high visitors on, it's all their health and safety police. It's because they're in the drawing room. We got drenched yesterday and again this morning. That's a wrap for today. Liverpool tomorrow. Let's go. Small man, big dreams. Oh, 
Oh, you'd lose me in the steps to be fair. So, just sent our boat and it is nearly fitted out. They've done a good job actually. We like these, don't we? Yep. Our kitchen's going to be a little bit bigger. I'll put it over here somewhere. Sofa there, log burner there. Walk this way. Have you told them this isn't our boat? I said this isn't our boat at the start. All right, mate. Thing? Double bed in there. Too dark. Nice wardrobe, you can't see it, you gotta trust me. And you got that's a decent size that is. A decent size bathroom, nice shower. Shower, toilet and all that jazz. Let me mirror that. We've got a queen size bed in there, we're only going to go for a king. Cut the wardrobes straight out onto the front. Nice, nice little area to have a cup for in the morning. This is my area. Huh? This is my area. I'll be at the back, she'll be at the front, and we'll have a row on that. So that's it at Aintree. Uh, we're, um, we're leaving feeling a little bit, I'm leaving feeling a little bit frustrated. Um, it's a couple of months behind schedule as it is and we've got here today and obviously the, the roof and the sides still need to go on. Um, so you've probably got, well, we've got two weeks left of the build and then it's a five week paint as well and I was led to believe it was a three week paint. So yeah, lots of lessons there. We, uh, you know, he over promised and under delivered and actually, you know, I've got to be mindful of that as well. Um, yeah, look, it's, it's, it's still happening. It's being built, um, but we've got to move out of our place in, in the middle of June. Um, and we've just pretty much penciled in a date for the end of May, which doesn't leave us much time. So we've got a lot of moving about to do. Um, we've got to work out our next move because um, it's not turning up when we thought it was. So, yeah, a little bit frustrated, but very, very grateful it's happening. Thanks to everyone who's watched to this point in this week's video. I keep getting asked the same question, and that's what are the benefits between being limited and being a sole trader? One of the main ones is liability, right? When you're a limited company, you're not liable. If your company goes pop, they can't take your house. You know, you're not liable as an individual. It's uh, the businesses, all right? That's why you see a lot of companies go bankrupt and they're set up under another name, all right? So you're more protected as an individual if you're limited. And one of the other main reasons that we chose to go limited is because it's for tax reasons, all right, for you guys. So we take on subcontractors, yeah? We have to pay. So we, we, when, you, when they come on for us, we find up and we verify them with a the tax office, or our accountant does now, because you can't do it yourself. And what happens is the tax office will say, right, they are gross or they are net status. And the majority of brick and hog carriers are net status, yeah? What that means is that we have to stop their tax before we pay them, which is all, which is fine. But the issue is, as a business, if you haven't got gross status, all right, so gross status is, I put an invoice in for 10 grand, I'll get paid 10 grand. All right, net status for us is, I put an invoice in for 10 grand, they stop us 20% at source, all right? Now, if I'm getting stopped 20% at source, I've still got to pay your tax, yeah? So what happens is, if I get paid 10 grand, they pay me eight because they've stopped my tax, I've got to pay you, I've still got to pay your tax. If I'm a limited business, I get to write your tax off against a tax that is stopped by us and we just file the numbers. We haven't got to send any money over. If I'm a sole trader, yeah, I can't do that. So what happens is if I'm a sole trader and I'll put an invoice in for 10 grand, they take my two grand off me because I haven't got net status yet. I'll explain about that in a minute. I've still got to pay your tax over. So I'm paying more, I'm paying 40% or whatever it is, I'm paying more tax, all right? Um, and in regards to net status, uh, net, net status and gross status, you can't apply for gross status to, to get paid all of your money, and we pay our own tax, until you've turned over a decent amount of money and you've got a couple of years trading under your belts, then you can apply for it, all right? And then what we do is we get a massive tax bill at the end of the year and we pay it. I hope that makes sense. If it doesn't, drop me a, uh, drop questions in the comments and I'll read them and get back to you. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you all on Tuesday.